Hey Scorpio, welcome to my channel. This is going to be a love reading for the sign of Scorpio. So if you're a Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North Node, or if you have a stellium in Scorpio, this reading is going to be for you. Keep in mind, this is going to be a general reading, so it might not resonate with everyone. If it doesn't, let it fly. Don't try to force the message. Also, don't let this reading take anything from you. Now, if you do resonate with this reading, please consider subscribing to my channel and liking this video. Also, keep in mind, energy is fluid, rose can get reversed, so take how it resonates. Ace of Cups. Two, not two of swords, eight of swords. Four of wands. Okay. Seven of Pentacles in reverse. Bottom of the deck is Page of Swords. Mm. You had a lot of love, a lot of compassion for this person. You know, but things just didn't work out here. This person sort of uh, made you feel stuck. You know, uh, there was no long term here. There was no long term vision. It's almost like there could have been a lot of distractions in this connection or things just didn't move forward. Whatever vision you had with this person, because you definitely saw long term and stability with this person. But whatever vision you saw with this person, everything just fell apart here. It's almost like there was no stability. The foundation of this connection wasn't strong enough or you both couldn't build on the foundation of this connection at all. Whatever long-term vision you had, it's almost like nothing, nothing came true. Everything fell apart for you. Like in this connection, everything fell apart. You might have felt like this person was someone who didn't even like, they, they were not really supportive of this connection, you know. There was a lot of conflict between the both of you. Communication was weird between the both of you. Could have been communication issues, misunderstandings between the both of you. Because of which everything just there was like not this it's almost like there was not just one reason or one cause because this connection fell apart there was multiple reasons why this connection never worked out or things just fell apart here for some of you you could have blocked this person you know right now uh, like you have physically blocked them from social media and everything or you're just like energetically you're blocking this person Page of Cups. All right. Chariot could be dealing with a cancer. wonder things didn't work out with that devil here there could have been some addiction issues some temptation third parties 
uh, other people getting involved in this connection the devil can mean different things for different people and there's not just going to be one person who's going to watch this reading so it can be a, a plethora of things for all of you different for different people this person had temptations they had some issues like past issues childhood issues trauma or addiction issues there could be multiple other people involved this person was addicted to different things here substance alcohol anything at all like some codependency behavior this was a very toxic connection no wonder if this didn't work out between the both of you as i said there was not this one reason this connection fell apart it's almost like there were multiple reasons or there was a lot of causes because of which this connection did not work out there could have been a lot of red flags in this connection as well which you kind of missed out on you know, like in hindsight, you might be feeling like there was a lot of red flags that I didn't get, that I didn't understand or that you didn't see in the right moment. You could be dealing with a Cancer, Capricorn, Fixed Signs, Taurus, Scorpio, Leo, Aquarius. This person could have been someone who was like they had this my way or the highway kind of attitude as well here. No, a bit of a stubbornness, ego or pride. That very well could be that devil energy as well. Ego and pride, a lot of ego and pride is definitely a toxic behavior which can lead to connections not working out. As I said, the foundation of this connection wasn't strong enough. Eight of Wands in reverse and the Hanged Man. Okay. This situation, this connection, there could there's a lot of delays here with that Eight of Wands in reverse and the Hanged Man. Things with it's very possible this. You wanted long-term relationship with this person, but this connection never took off. It, it took off, sorry. It was just a situ it ended up becoming a situationship, you know, even though, or it's very possible you wanted to move to the next step in this relationship, in this commitment, but it just never happened. There were just too many delays. Things were just not moving forward. Things were just stuck in a place. And that made you feel very stuck in this relationship, in this commitment. Like you didn't know. I mean, look at that. In the uh, Eight of Swords, she has a blindfold on, right? So that's like you don't know where you are going. You don't know what you are seeing. It, even if like you are questioning whether you can see things clearly here. But here's the thing. With the hanged man here, whatever you couldn't see clearly in the past, you can see th thing clearly in the present moment. You just have to see things from a different perspective. It's very possible you did have that rose-colored glasses on because of which you couldn't see things clearly. It's almost like you wanted to manifest that stability with this new person and you were very impatient to do that. But it's, it's this like, this is what it feels like. Like universe kept uh, putting obstacles in your path like in the path of this connection in the uh, in between the both of you the universe kept putting obstacles here because like you were not you were not supposed to be with this person or this was not a healthy this is not a healthy connection so the universe kept putting obstacles just so that you can see this connection for what it is what it truly is you can see the person for what it what how they truly are behaving as i said you could have had those rose colored glasses on but the delays this waiting the slowdown this things not going to the next uh, step it was just like rejection is divine protection
four of cups yeah it was just like that you could have been dealing with someone who was very like they didn't show any empathy towards you they lacked that empathy towards you they're very apathetic towards you they were very disconnected from this connection as well you know like you could have slowly felt like you were disconnecting like you were dissociating from this person or you were dissociating from this connection altogether you might have felt that This person could have also been ignoring you in a way, you know, which is which is the reason why there was a lot of conflict between the both of you. Like you were offering your cup, but this person was just not taking it, not taking it. They were just not seeing it. So almost like you could see the potential of this connection, but this person wasn't ready to see the potential. And this was like because this person... And the reason this person didn't see the potential is because this is not healthy. This is not good. As I said, the universe was putting obstacles in front, uh, in this connection, in this relationship, because it, it's not supposed to move forward. It's not, not supposed to go beyond what it already was. But you were really trying. You are a fixed uh, water. Of course, you will have stubbornness. So you really tried to make this work. You really wanted, you really put in all the effort you possibly could to make this work. But it still wasn't meant to. It still wasn't supposed to. So it kept falling apart. It's literally like, you know, like trying to glue glass together. <laughs> Sorry, it sounds like a weird example, but a glass plate has broken and you are trying to glue it and make it work. But it's not, it's, it's not the same, is it? So every time it's almost like this, you try putting an effort into this connection and make it work. But every time it used to fall apart because again, it's not supposed to be. It's not meant to be. I'm not going to take those two. So five of cups and the page of swords. Yeah, it was, you were disappointed. There's a lot of restless energy and there's a lot of immature energy from your part as well here. There was immaturity from your part. And four of cups and five of cups is definitely a lot of disappointment, pessimistic energy as well here. This person did affect your emotional well-being or more like your emotional outlook. Like you were very connected to this person to the point their energy was affecting your energy. That sort of a thing. I'm not going to take those two. Just randomly came out so... Let's get one more card. For some of you, you were willing to sacrifice a lot for this person as well, which was not healthy, you know. Seven of Cups. Which was not healthy, you know. And this sacrifices could be just sacrificing your standards, sacrificing your values, something like that. It was like things you shouldn't be sacrificing. You were willing to go above and beyond for this person, for someone who was not meant for you, which is not healthy, for someone that was very toxic to you, which is again, not healthy, not healthy. Look at that, four, four, seven, seven. We have three uh, sevens here. Seven of pentacles, seven of cups, and the chariot is number seven. So seven, seven, seven. You also have the Eight of Wands and the Eight of Swords. Eight, eight. Uh, you are Scorpio. Uh, this very well could have been a very karmic kind of a connection. Or you had a lot of karmic debt with this person. Doesn't necessarily the connection has to be karmic, but you had some karmic debts you both needed to clear. Or at least you needed to clear here. Some lessons you needed to learn. What is this? 
Okay, the Hierophant. Could be dealing with the Taurus here, which is your counterpart. Yeah, it's almost like you... For some of you, this person could have just ran away from you, you know, sort of ghosted you. You know, they had... It's almost like this person ran away because they, if they didn't, then they have, they have to confront the truth. That is why it's easier for them to just run away. Just leave things behind and run away. It's also very possible with the Page of Cups and the Hierophant, you were dealing with someone who was very immature. So you were looking, uh, you were wanting commitment from someone who's a very immature person. And that is why it did not, like again, not on the same page. You both were not on the same page. No matter how much you tried to make this work out, you both were not on the same page. This person could have some financial issues or they have some, they have that lack mentality, you know, like someone who is always like playing the victim card, feeling victimized, feeling like things don't go well in their life. Someone has, who has that woe is me kind of energy. Three of Swords. Well, this is someone with the Three of Swords here in the world. This is someone who is feeling heartbroken. That this, this didn't work out. This person could have some past issues as well, you know. They could have some past issues because of which this... You know, like they were stuck to a past situation or something like that. They had a past situation they were stuck to. Or like this person could have treated you like an option as well. You know, with the seven of cups, they very well could have treated you like an option. And that is why there was no long term with this person. Because someone who's treating you like an option will not give you any sort of clarity, will not give you commitment, of course. Something you were, you used to, like, you dreamt about a future with them. You dreamt about a future with this person. I'm going to clarify that. It could be dealing with a Virgo. Yeah, they're missing you. They are missing you. They feel lonely without you. They feel kind of alone. And yeah, they're missing you.
at that eight of wands is in reverse here but here it's upright this person is missing the communication the most see uh, if you were someone who was pursuing this person who really wanted to go to the next step with this person you were showering them with all your love and attention and you were the one who was chasing them almost like this person was they miss all of that they miss someone who is i heard the term dotting so they they miss someone who's not all going crazy over them you know like you could have gone crazy you were crazy about them so they are missing the fact that no one is crazy about them right now I have to mention this person also is like there's no movement here, right? And that is making again making this person because you are, you already have the eight of wands in reverse in your energy, the hanged man, the eight of swords, uh, four of cups. So you are ignoring this person definitely right now. And look at that four and uh, seven of cups. We have the three of cups in the mix. Three of cups is the reunion, but four of cups is like you're not even sure about that reunion. You you're not sure it's a good idea to be back with this person again because this person did hurt you they did ignore you so you are re-evaluating the situation and for some of you you're realizing that it is again rejection is divine protection you couldn't see things clearly back then because you were too much into them but now that you are able to see things clearly of course you are holding back communication from them there's a, like you are not going to do anything especially with the hanged man eight of wands reverse eight of swords uh, four of cups these are all energies of you not doing anything four of wands is reverse as well so yeah this this person is uh in in, in regret and sorrow that you're not doing anything they're missing someone going crazy over them This person is trying they, they are trying to recover from whatever has they are trying to recover from the fact that you someone who was going crazy over them is now ignoring them this is what they're trying to recover from you know this this is what they're trying to detach from this is sorry this is why they're trying to detach from the situation this is why they're trying to get over this because as I said, someone who was going crazy over them because this person really thought that you were hooked to their, your end. Sorry, you were hooked to them, right? With the devil here. This person really thought you were hooked to them, but you, you're you not apparently because you're not going crazy over them anymore. So of course you're not hooked to them anymore. And with the devil here, this person is still very attached to you, but you are not. You are showing signs of not being attached to them. Not to mention four of cups in reverse is someone who wants to take some solid actions. Now that action doesn't necessarily have to be regarding you. That action could simply be like they trying to move on from you. Because again, we do have the six of swords. For some of you, this person is thinking that you are just being stubborn. You are showing stubbornness here by holding back from them. So this person is also like, well, I, I can be stubborn as well. Too many. 
that that devil again as if it, as i was just talking about this person is still attached to you the devil showing up twice in this person's energy this is a very uh, like they they're very attached to you they're very tempted by you as well and this is not to mention this is also a very possessive energy you know of of like again you were going crazy over them and now you're not so now you're like now you are driving this person crazy by not being crazy about them i hope i made sense there you are driving them crazy by not being crazy about them ah this person is something yeah look at that they see you as someone who's like you be dealing with the pisces um leo cancer so definitely on water sign yeah they see you as someone who is literally like you're releasing them sorry you're releasing yourself from their clutches you are releasing yourself from their clutches or you have already released yourself from their clutches and you're moving ahead you have found the strength to move on from them you have found the strength to release yourself from this from this prison this person created you have managed to get out of this and you are moving on and that is why you are silent because you are busy because look at the look at that this is like three major arcanas you have the courage and the patience to walk away from someone who was being very toxic the emperor in reverse is a very toxic masculine energy and the high priestess is the divine feminine energy this is a divine masculine energy that is toxic the high priestess is the divine feminine energy that is of course high priestess is an upright so this is not a toxic energy you managed to get out of the clutches of a very toxic masculine energy again everything is uh, there's no gender in tarot here everything is energy so yeah you found the strength to what is the opposite of get uh, like get out of their clutches you know you found the strength to do that all right no no okay am i holding the deck in reverse no the devil i saw the devil again King of Swords. <laughs> Look at that four of wands. Okay, this person is again. That's that same energy. Of they are trying to detach themselves. Uh, sorry, they are yes. They they are trying to detach themselves. from this four of wands because they see you as someone who is already ignoring them right you're already ha you already have detached yourself from this expectation of being with them of seeing a future with them you don't see a future with them anymore so they are trying to get out of this uh, four of wands energy as well here not to mention for some of you this person is actually thinking that I can just build this four of wands with anyone I want. With anyone I want, I can build this four of wands. What's the big deal? So they are trying to detach. <laughs> but in reality, this person is feeling the loss. They are feeling the emotional loss here. They're, they're not to mention with the Ace of Cups in reverse, they are feeling very depleted as well. You very well could have been someone who 
poured into their cup of love a lot because with the eight of cups you did pour into their cup of love a lot as i said uh, i think i mentioned it you had a lot of compassion you have a lot of or you had a lot of compassion and empathy for this person so you so you showered them with a lot of love but now they don't have that and it's almost like this person is feeling very dry you know that sounds so funny when i'm saying that out loud but it's almost like this person is feeling very dry and dusty i don't know why i got that word but you know like very deserted very very dry it's like there's no water this person is like this, again as i said this is a very codependent connection so you were uh, very much giving to this person a lot and this person is missing the fact that they don't have that sort of they don't have anyone to give to them the way you were giving to them Hierophant again. Yeah, four of cups in reverse. And the five of swords here. What is it with this person? This person is trying to withdraw from this they are trying to withdraw from this and they are trying to be uh with the higher friend they are trying to be stubborn here as well they are trying to be like it's it's simply that because you are not doing anything for this connection because you are not going crazy over them it's it's just like they are trying to show that they don't want you as well they are withdrawing as well they are retreating as well so I'm like, you are ignoring them. They can ignore you as well. That's what, that's all this person is trying to prove to you. But this is, this is again, this person trying to fool you with the five of swords. This is not like, this is, this is not this person, what they're truly doing. This is they, them trying to fool you with the five of swords, because that is a manipulative energy. I don't know what is the deal with this person. This person also, we have the eight of wands at the bottom of the deck. So this person is trying to, they, they very well could be, you know, in this energy of trying to prove to you that they are withdrawing from this situation here and they are looking for happiness somewhere else. You know, they are already moving on from the situation and find, trying to date or find someone new, someone else. of swords okay seems like the knight of swords is such a reckless energy this is someone who's who can't think straight they are unable to think straight they are unable to process their own thoughts as well because the knight of swords is a very flighty energy someone who says something and does something else someone who feels something and does something else yeah this person really wants that second chance see this person is trying to these are all tactics this person is showing you that they are detaching from you that they are moving on they are trying to find someone else they are trying to date they are over the situation this is all the tactics this person is applying or using just so that just to see that if they can get any reaction out of you But this person isn't gonna, I, I don't feel like you're, you're gonna give them any reaction. And you not giving this reaction is finally going to make this person, as I said, they are going crazy over the fact that you are not crazy about them anymore. So with the Knight of Swords and the Judgment, this is like, they will want that second chance, they will come back for that, but this is going to be very like, 
a very under confident person if this person came across as someone who's very confident in the past the the one that will come in like this person will come in as someone who's not confident at all because the knight of swords is not a confident energy the knight of swords as i said very whimsical very uh, flighty very like saying something doing something else wanting to say that something communication like communication is a big issue for this person i feel they just don't know how to speak or <clears throat> wow as i said that my throat suddenly <clears throat> yeah so this person doesn't know how to speak not at least the truth so yeah this is this is just going to be a weird energy with that knight of swords and the judgment very like this person might end up coming in and confusing some more you know and then running away again so yeah could be dealing with uh, another scorpio here well that is your reading scorpio i hope you found some clarity through this reading i'll see you guys in the next reading until then take care guys bye bye